Good morning. Today, Wednesday, 28th of October, 2015. Paper highlights read by Christina Arul Selvam. You are listening to AdivanNews.com. First, let's move to the paper highlights from today's newspaper, Daily Mirror. The main news highlight says, Boys fall off tree into pointed stick. A boy from Galaha in Bulatsinghala who fell off a tree and onto stick in fence below his chest, perforated above the lungs. Another news highlight from Daily Mirror, the headline says, Mysterious Space Object Heading Towards SLC. A mysterious chunk of space debris will hit the earth off the coast of Sri Lanka in November 13, foreign media reports said. Scientists have no clear idea what it is. Other than that, it's likely artificial in origin what have dubbed the object WT1190F. Another news highlight from Daily Mirror, Missing Person Certificate to Next of Kin. Two ministers have been assigned to work out the criteria for issuing certificate to the immediate family members of those who have gone missing during the armed conflict so that they can apply for the relief and compensation, a Ministry of Officials said. Another news highlight from Daily Mirror, Government consider enlarging PTA detainees on bail. The government is looking into the possibility of granting bail to those detained under the Prevention of Terrorism Act, a cabinet minister said yesterday. Another news highlight from Daily Mirror, Mahinda Simon by commission again. Former President Mahinda Rajapaksha had been noticed to participate to appear before it again on November 29 and 30th in connection with non-payment of due to ITN for its telecasting of Rs 115 million worth of advertisement. In the run-up to the presidential election promotion, its candidature. Another news highlight from Daily Mirror, Pacific Simmons, former civil aviation minister. Former Sri Lankan Airlines chairman Nishanta Vikramasinghe and former civil aviation minister Priyanka Rajaratna have been asked to report the Presidential Commission of Inquiry to investigate and inquire into serious act of fraud, corruption and abuse of power. Another news highlight from Daily Mirror, protesters call for peaceful resolution of Kashmir issue, the headline says. A peaceful protest by members of the Kashmir Study Forum and the Pakistani and Sri Lankan communities was held by yesterday opposite the United Nations office at Bauta Lokamavata in Colombo to mark the Kashmir Black Day. Another news highlight from Daily Mirror, six more arrested over nightclub killing. Six more suspects were arrested yesterday in connection with the killing of the, of the Panora nightclub owner in Anuradhapura, police said. Police said a lorry used by the suspect to leave the scene was also taken in custody. Fourteen suspects have been arrested so far in connection with the killing, eight having been arrested earlier. Another news highlight from Daily Mirror, government to regulate private degree Degree awarding institutions. The government will enact fresh legislation to establish the authority to regulate private degree awarding institutions in the country, a minister said yesterday. Now let's move to the paper highlights from today's newspaper, Daily News. The main headline says, No amnesty for suspect held under PTA. AG asked to take action to grant bail to those in other category. The government reached a decision to not grant amnesty to Tamil suspect in remand prison held under the Prevention of Terrorism Act and stage a fast National Dialogue Minister Manu Ganeshan said. Minister Ganeshan said the decisions were reached at a discussion chaired by Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe at Temple Tree on Monday, at which he was also present. Another news highlight from Daily News, Vimal confident of going to Europe, the headline says. National Freedom Front leader and parliamentarian Vimal Veeravansa is confident that he would be able to leave for Europe as planned, NFF spokesman Anuradha Bandara told the Daily News. Another news highlight from Daily Mirror, 34 Indian fishermen arrested. The Sri Lanka Navy, assisted by the Sri Lanka Coast Guard, arrested 43 Indian fishermen along with seven Indian fishing travelers poaching in Sri Lankan waters north of Kankesanthurai, southeast of Delft Island. Another news highlight from Daily News, President Document Containing Legal Option, Gamman Pillar. Pivitru Hela Urimail leader Uday Gamman Pillar urged to the government to present the three documents containing the legal options. Another news highlight from Daily News, Nishanta and Priyankara before commission on Friday. 
Former Sri Lankan Airlines and Sri Lankan Catering Limited Chairman Nishanta Vikramasinghe and former Civil Aviation Minister Priyanka Rajaratna will be summoned before the Presidential Commission of Inquiry on Friday. Another news highlight from Daily News, Devananda to stand trial for 1987 murder in Chennai. Former Minister Douglas Devananda is all set to stand trial before the Chennai court through the video conferencing from Colombo on 28-year-old murder. murder case Now let's move to the paper highlights from Ceylon today. 35 new MPs ready to shoot. The police special task force organized a firearms training session at the Katukurunda Police STF Academy grounds for newly elected parliamentarian. A senior police source told Ceylon today that 35 newly elected parliamentarian participating at the training session yesterday at the Academy grounds inspected by the Ranjit Pereira of the Police STF. The session will continue today another news highlight from Ceylon today GTF president father emmanuel to visit sl president of the global tamil forum father emmanuel has hinted that he may visit sri lanka in the near future in response to a personal invitation from president maithripala sirisena and foreign minister mangala samaravira another news highlight from ceylon today student suicide lap webcam records the hanging A 23-year-old second-year student of Rohini University killed himself by hanging after his girlfriend ended their relationship. He had left the laptop webcam switch on to record the suicide. We brought you the paper highlights from today's newspaper. We will bring you more tomorrow. Thank you.